are minimalists. <laughs> Eric has a question here. I recently let go of religion, but I don't know what to cling to next. That's an interesting word there. I don't know what to cling to next. Was that maybe the problem, the clinging? I think the problem is religion. Mm. Maybe, maybe go back to faith. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that. Because, uh, so, so I, I'll give you my pithy answer, then we can unpack it a little bit. But uh, progress is measured by our ability to let go. Mm -hmm. And I think what happens right now is if we cling to something, whatever it is, it could be a religion, whatever we're clinging to. There, there's this uh, great quote from David Foster Wallace uh, from Infinite Jest. He said, everything I've ever let go of has claw marks on it. Well, that's not letting go at all. Yeah. That's just being dragged until you drop. So let's talk about this faith versus religion thing. I'm fascinated by that. Well, let me just give my quick response. Let's do it. And as long as you're looking for something to cling to, you have not let go of religion. Mm. And because religion is an external construct that gives your life meaning and leaves you feeling meaningless. Mm. And so I, I think that there's something internal inside of his struggle that he doesn't believe he can become, so he has to actually put on. Like I, I don't cling, I don't turn to religion and to give me what I'm searching for. And Aaron, you talked about the difference religion and faith. Maybe you should pop in there. I mean, it's, a, it's been a huge conversation, I think, with our whole yeah. lifetime, because I'm wildly OCD. So everything for me was, I mean, I was the Catholic inside of our Christian family of like repeating the same prayer every single day. And you grew up Roman Catholic. And so- yeah, Definitely religiously OCD. And so you helped me kind of understand going, okay, it's okay to be OCD and struggle with rep repetitive nature of prayer or of doing X, Y, Z, but finding a real relationship in faith is very different, I think, than being de living by the demands of religion, mm -hmm. going like this is your guilt or your shame is so tied to whether you achieve or you don't or you do this and you do that and you're absolved of your sin versus this faith going like, hey, there's a God who wants to know you there's something out there, the creative director of the universe, if you want to call it, that wants, that created you and wants to know you. And that's a different type of relationship that I don't think uh, sells to mass media people. Religion worked because people were meant to be controlled by certain people. I think people have that ideology. And so faith for me is, is so much more of a relationship that, that you understand and you listen and you learn and you talk and you are in an engaged relationship. But that's what I got. Yeah, no, I... Uh, one, I, I think there's something looking in, to you to be more quotable. No, no, I, I'm not trying to be quotable right now. I'm, uh, I was, I don't know, you're allowed to edit things. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we, we've got a few pithy things. We're good to go. Let's no, just no. expand on it. Uh -oh. No, the re reason is, one, I, I feel like we, we're, whenever we're driven by guilt or shame, we end up in religion. Mm. When we're driven by intention uh, and meaning we're more likely to find something inherently healthy. And, you know, so like, I don't feel a need to try to convert anyone and I'm a pastor. Uh, I, I, uh, have a, I have a, a desire to help people live the full life they're created to live. And, and when a person tells me, man, I've let go of religion, but I'm looking for something to hold on to, uh, I need some institution outside of me to fix the world. Yeah, it's almost and childish or in infantile. In it is, and, and and I'm only saying this because I'm inherently an anarchist. I mean, I was I, that, that's who I was growing up. That's I, I never trust institutions. I did not trust religion. I did not trust governments. Uh, what I what I trust is um, the power of your internal world to shape and create the world around you. And you, if. If you're filled with anger or greed or violence or envy, you're going to create a destructive world. Mm. If you're filled with hope and love and uh, intention and purpose, you're going to create a better world. And, uh, and, and so I would say, look, I, I don't know who you are and where you are on your life journey, but um, one, I do believe in God. And obviously, I, I am a person who believes in a personal relationship with Jesus. But what I'd say to you is um, look for the change within you. And move toward whatever moves you toward love. Move toward whatever moves you toward hope. Mm -hmm. Like the, the best internal compass is when all the right essentials begin to be created inside of you. Like I would not be a follower of Jesus if somehow it moved me away from love, if it moved me away from hope, if it moved me away from compassion. 
Like I think that we all have this internal compass and if we pay attention to it, it'll move us in the right direction. I get to, I'm used to this. My <laughs> mind's blown and my insides are so inspired right now. The, 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 the love thing is, is fascinating because I also find some value uh, in, whether it's religion or whatever, mm -hmm. there's a, this sort of liturgical nature of religion where people find some sort of structure, right? And I think right. that's what he's looking for right now specifically. Yes. And what you're saying is that whatever that structure ends up being, it needs to be predicated on love, not on a, a set of particular rituals that are going to drive you toward love necessarily. Yeah. And it's just like with injury. I've had a lot of injuries in my life because I love uh, playing sports. And at first, I mean, when I came out of the knee surgery, they gave me this massive metal brace to put on my knee and these really cool crutches. And and uh, <laughs> I walked out of the hospital, I took the brace off and I put the crutches down and I started walking this within the same hour of having the surgery. Yeah. And, and, and my family's like, why did you do this? I said, because the brace is there to protect you from injury, but it actually also reduces your capacity to be str stronger. Mm. And religion is a brace. Mm. Uh, love is the strength. Mm. 